Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel and welcome to your November 2023 monthly tarot reading. This is your general and love energy, the current person on your mind, any new love potential coming your way and the intentions or actions of each individual zodiac sign from Aries to Pisces at the end. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow. And if you'd like a personal reading, that information is down below. The title will be based on the love portion or the most dominant uh, theme in the reading. So let's see your month of November. We are in Scorpio season. So let's see how Scorpio, the month of transformation, will um, help you this month. What kind of changes will be coming in for you? Taurus, 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 Taurus. Letting go. Nobody likes this card. This is the first time I've gotten this card in a while, though. Um, well, what's a while? I do thousands of hours of readings. Um, but letting go of something you're trying to control, um, letting go of something that's not working for you, um, or if you're thinking something's not working for you, but you're trying to control how it works, um, letting go a little bit and just watching it play out. Things might turn out uh, differently. Um, the death card is, you know, Scorpio, Scorpio season. You know, it's about learning to let go of the things that don't serve us, learning to let go of situations, learning to let go of grudges, learning to let go and just going with the flow. All right, look at this, the card of transformation for you. So it's really a big time for you. Maybe some of you are, um, you know, and it's just like you are like, Frank, I did. You know, I am. I'm letting go. I'm ready for change. All right. So endings are inevitable and they always bring new beginnings. And autumn, you know, things are always changing collectively. It doesn't matter if you have Scorpio in your chart or not. It's just a collective time of the year. It's a season of it. And um, and something maybe has to leave your life right now so that something new can come into your life. And that could be a way of thinking. That can be the way a way of feeling. It could be a way of dressing. It could be a way of acting, your behaviors. It could be a way, it could be friends. It could be a job. It could be your routine. It doesn't have to necessarily be a person that of love interest all the time. But it really does talk about like right now with changing circumstances everywhere, sometimes we really do just got to let go and trust that um, there's a plan, that, 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 that things we, we've planted seeds in the past, that we know where we're going, our soul's guiding us in the right place, God's got our back. I mean, we've got to just trust. And as I say that, I get the card of courage, right? So I'm sorry about the light, but the card of courage here, there's a doorway opening for you in November and you're geared up and ready to go. You have everything you need. So it's maybe for you, it's just letting go of the excuses, Right? People don't like to hear that. Right? It could be just simply letting go of the excuses you keep telling yourself about why you can't have something, why you can't do something, why you can't go somewhere. Why, you know, I don't want to drive five miles further to go there, even though I would have more fun at that place than over here. You know, I don't want to go to a different place because, you know, meet different people because I don't feel like getting dressed, you know, just whatever the excuses are, it could be about having the courage to face what's really behind those excuses. What What's the fear that's behind those excuses? Um, and having the courage to step out there and just go for it. Like what, at this point in life, what can pop, what, if the, the whole thing with rejection, right? The fear of rejection at this point, who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Like, what are we afraid of? What pe it's usually what people think of us. And at some point in our lives, we've got to be like, I don't care what people think. I don't care, you know, if I make a mistake and somebody, you know, at least I gave it a shot, right? So I see a commitment. Do you have a fear of commitment? Do you have... Do you have fears of commitments? Do you, I mean, I know, Taurus, you're one of the hardworking, you know, you'll commit to the things that are safe. You'll commit to the things that you know won't hurt you. You'll commit to a daily routine of going to work from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., right? You will commit, you will work, you'll commit to the things that you want to commit to, all right? But when it comes to change, you're a fixed energy, and you're very stubborn about that, 
you're you're also stuck on why you know you won't change or why you won't commit and you're you're fully solid with that too as well and this could be where you're being challenged to look at what your commitments are and what where your energies are going and where are you holding yourself back from committing to some new things that might be life-changing for you um and just you know maybe you've been committed for a long time on something and you're starting to realize that you know i've overdone this or it's I'm, I'm i'm working on something that i know i should have finished a long time ago i'm just holding on to it right it's about starting something new and it's once you get going though it's the fear it's the getting started with something with you that scares you the most and then once you get going and once you get past that first step you're on it. Like you just don't stop, you go. So it's the initiation of getting back and doing something different or doing something new in your life and changing up your routine. Or, you know, even if this is a relationship, a commitment, it's about quit getting stuck on the same people because they're comfortable for you and or the same stories around relationships because that's what you've always dealt with and change that and, and look for something different because there's so many other alternatives out there not just one perspective. All right. So there could be something about commitment coming in for you. And that's why I'm talking about all this. There could be some major changes coming into your life in November where you're going to be tested to let go of your old ways of thinking. People change. People change. People grow. We all do. Um, you know, I know a lot of people say people don't change. I just don't think I believe that. I believe that we're always evolving. It just whether or not we're going in the right directions, right? But we're always evolving. Um, and so you could be signing documents this this month. You might be making some big purchases. You might be, um, you know, for some of you, and or you might be getting into a relationship, a new relationship, and it might be, you know, decide in Taurus, do I go all in? I, you know, or do I keep going back and forth? You know, or do I finally just tell somebody, hey, let's give it a go. Let's let's go for this. Um, I'm ready to start something. All right. And there's that victim mentality showing up for you. And the victim mentality is blaming excuses feeling sorry or doubting. And, you know, when things don't go right for you, uh, you know, you go back into your corner and you don't want to try again. And so it's about releasing this mindset and moving forward so that you can see change in your life. All right. I know you want to. All right. So let's see when it comes to love, the current person on your mind. Let's see the energy around you for love in November. And um, the current person on your mind can be anybody at this point. Um, the next portion will be new person, new potential. So, but this, so this could be anybody that's on your mind. But the energies are going to be the energies around love in general for the month of November. What you need to know. All right. All right. A marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. So we are seeing commitment and we are seeing something regarding marriage. All right. So for some of you, maybe it's time to um, seal the deal with somebody um, that you've been seeing for a long time, um, you know, connecting to you for a long time. Maybe it is time to say, you know, you know, let's go the next step, right? For some of you, for some of you, you could be meeting somebody, but it's about letting go of past um, blame, guilt, relationship issues, things like that. It could be about you moving on and making change in your life and deciding to try again. All right. And you made this possibility that with getting out there, you could meet somebody this month or you are meeting somebody. And that said, ding. And I usually have my thing on. So that was a ding. You could be meeting somebody this month that could end up being somebody that you'll find yourself in a long-term relationship. All right. But the card of marriage shows me that it's got to be a blending of two souls. Two souls have to be on the same page here. And if you're connecting to somebody who's not participating and not putting in the effort for you, and if you're not feeling it, let it go. Let it go and see what else is coming in for you. I see challenges with, um, you know, a true soul connection involves challenges that can be that can be overcome together. All right. So I'm saying this because when I just said about letting go, 
when it comes to marriage or it comes to if you're in a connection with somebody or somebody that's on your mind, we take a look at challenges and every relationship is going to have challenges. A lot of people give up after, you know, the lust is, has left the building, right? Well, it takes commitment and it takes two people who want to work on it, right? So some of you may be finding yourself challenged with, you know, partners that are on your mind right now. And it's about evaluating and letting go of what's really important. So are these things that are really important? important to you. And if you can't let them go and somebody is not putting in the work, it's about letting go of that person. Um, but can we let go of some of the things that somebody else is doing or does that, and we judge them or we're criticizing them when you know you want to be with them? All right. So it does take some compromise here with the challenges. So for some of you, if you are in a relationship with somebody, you may be seeing yourself faced with some some challenges this month. And it's going to be about making that decision finally. Like, is it worth it to keep doing this to each other? And do we want to you know, come to some agreement and find a better way, a new way, make change in our relationship so that we can both be happier. Um, Cause it doesn't work when we're both negative or uh, well, who the hell wants to be in a relationship like that anyways. Right. So there may be some challenges with a, a person that's on your mind right now. So it, remember people show up in our life to help us heal and grow and learn from one another. So you will be deciding this month, whether somebody is really in it or commitment or whether they're not. So there's going to be some, you know, letting go of relationships for you, Taurus, and there's going to be some taking some major steps this month in relationships as well. So let's see the current person on your mind, uh, their feelings for you, the challenge, how they view you and their next actions towards you and any advice or anything else spirit wants you to know about this situation. Ten of Pentacles in the Strength card. All right. So this is kind of talking about a marriage energy too and long term. All right. So I'm looking at a bond here that grows over time. And you guys do have the, the, the inner strength to get through whatever challenges that you are having. Um, the Ten of Pentacles can show family, can show marriage, can show, um, can show, um, a strong partnership for long term. All right. So for some of you, if you're connected to somebody who's already in this kind of partnership, this is a bond that's not going to break. All right. So that is just a side note for somebody. Um, it seems like this is a very strong bond and they're, they have a lot invested in each other. And no matter what, they're going to they're persevering through this. Now, this is you, Taurus, and your person. You guys will make it through whatever challenges that you that you if you really are in it. It's a very strong bond. It could be Leo energy another Taurus Virgo Capricorn but we see marriage material and we see a lot has been invested or a lot should be you know you know it's like there's been too much invested to just give up now the strength card says you know keep persevering where there's a will there's a way you guys have the strength the love it's, it's a soul connection um, and everybody's going to go through their challenges and but how can we find the strength to pull each other through these times all right maybe you are going through a rocky time rocky marriage rocky relationship but how can we care for one another or help each other heal through these times? So it could be a Leo energy. There may have been something that happened in the connection, but are you able to heal past this and move through this? Um, because it seems like it's a very, there's a lot invested in this relationship. Uh, let's see how they feel. Besides the fact that it's a bond that is technically well, I can't say technically, but when I see the strength card, it's a bond. You guys signed up for this, you know, soul bond, um, soul tribe, soul connection, family. All right. We do have the seven of cups here and I have the five of cups. So there may have been some feelings of grief or there may have been some feelings or talk about separation or there may have been a separation. There may have been the seven of cups here. There may have been some choices that were made in the past or, um, that have brought you to a place or this person to a place where they're grieving or they're feeling bad or they're kind of feeling depressed about something. All right. So I do feel like um, somebody's not feeling very good about some choices that they may have made. All right. Um, 
but the challenge is the high priestess, all right? Secrets, secrets or, or not being honest with one another or not following one's intuition. Somebody may feel bad because they knew that they were doing something wrong or they know they did something wrong or um, they may have felt like something was wrong but didn't say anything and um, maybe communication, uh, maybe they, they did something but didn't have all the information or they said something without knowing all the facts. Um, the high priestess can show deception and it can show so not truly in alignment with one's higher self. So making choices, you know, sometimes that devil card's in there, making some, you know, choices that they're not feeling very good about. How they view you is the Queen of Pentacles, but the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is the challenge here as well. Um, maybe, maybe you're feeling, you know, really stressed about it, overwhelmed about it. Maybe you've judged them or you've been really harsh on them or they could look at it like you don't want to work on this or you're not trying to work on this anymore. Um, but they are, they admire you. They look up to you. I mean, you are the Queen of Pentacles. They, um, you have high standards. Um, and maybe they feel like they're not good enough for you anymore. Um, but they also feel like maybe you've kind of pulled back and you've kind of gone within. And uh, you just don't feel it. You're not given to it as much as you used to. It could be that kind of energy as well, too. So I am picking up on some kind of relationship like this right now. Uh, so it doesn't really feel like a new relationship. But it does feel like they they really do have a lot of... Um, they really do have a lot of love for you, but I feel like they know that they've hurt you or that you are now feeling insecure and these insecurities or these wounds or um, if you're feeling really, really, um, you know, kind of the negative qualities that a Taurus can feel, they feel like it's their fault. All right? This person does feel like it's their fault. Their next actions towards you right now is the moon card. So there's a lot of emotions here that keep going back and forth. Obviously, the five of cups is showing somebody that's that wants to get over whatever happened yesterday. Um, and they want to see the six of cups. All right. They want to focus on the good times. They want to focus on reconciling or focus on the memories here. I don't think this is somebody that wants to lose this relationship. And I'm I'm talking about somebody who's it feels as though you guys are already connected in a relationship. Um, they don't want to uh, walk away. They want to go back to the way things were. Um, the moon card can show a lot of uncertainty, right? And it can show um, fear or anxiety about where this is going to go or can you guys um, can you guys heal from this? Can you guys move forward and move into the future together and create something new? Or is this deception going to haunt you guys forever? The moon card can show, though, it's whatever you're really truly wanting and desiring and dream it. The moon will manifest it for you. Um, and it can show a card of healing as well, too, um, if you're both on the same page. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I got a strong Pisces here for you as well. Um, but right now it sort of seems like things are kind of wishy-washy between the two of you. Um, and there does seem like there's some challenges happening here between you and a relationship. So the letting go part of this reading was really about whether or not the question's going to come down to whether or not you really can let go um, of whatever happened in the past with this person and be able to move forward. I do see reconciliation here with the Three of Swords in reverse, but it's going to take a lot of healing and being able to um, work on things. And if there was a third party or is a third party, then there needs to be no more <laughs> third party. All right. It does show possibility of you guys reconciling if you guys are both willing to heal and work on um, the situation at hand. OK, so let's see their feelings for you. And then we'll look at the new person, new potential for those of you um, that don't resonate really with the relationship that just came through. You make me want to be a better person. So it's like this person really knows uh, or is starting to, uh, something's changing. Remember in November with that transformation card. So when I said people can change, um, I do believe that it just sometimes people don't always change for the best, but um, you make me want to be a better person. It does feel like this person's really grieving and feeling pretty bad about whatever decisions they did make. I do see the card of soulmate. So this is a very strong bond. You guys are definitely tied somewhere. You have a contract together and you might be at a distance right now, but I feel like like um, that's more emotionally and if there's there is a possibility of you guys coming together and healing things but it has to be a partnership it has to be two souls on the same page all right so let's see 
let's see. New person, new potential. New person, new potential for Taurus. Took me a second to get that out. New person, new potential for Taurus. Would you see a possibility if, you know, you got the courage and you want to jump in there this month? There's something changing. There could be a new beginning here. Um, but for many of you, it's about the courage to move on and, and move out there and, and go see what's out there. Because there is potential here to come together with somebody that could be your next commitment. Because remember, the commitment card here um, is showing that if that's what you're looking for, there's an event coming in. You may find yourself in a relationship with somebody or the beginning stages, the early stages of a relationship. Usually when I say things, the cards pull right afterwards, right? Which, which I love. Eight of Pentacles, right? Can show commitment. Somebody who's on the same page as you. Somebody who feels like home. Somebody who feels like they work at the same pace. Somebody who's very dedicated, but, you know, wants to work on things there. There's somebody out there around you in November, Taurus, who works just as hard as you do and wants to put forth the same amount of work into a relationship. They're looking for commitments, right? And I've got the Five of Cups here, but it was in reverse. So it is somebody here um, that has gone through, they, they do, do not look in the past, right? They've gone through the healing process, All right, This could be the Five of Cups in reverse is a Six of Cups energy. So it can show a friendship. It can show a new friendship, a new beginning. It can show somebody who's ready for love, ready to bring balance into their life, right? Because we're looking at new person, new potential, All right? The Five of Cups in reverse shows somebody who doesn't cry over yesterday. They're not carrying any baggage. They're, they're, they're over it. They're, they're ready ready for love, right? The sixes, the six of cups is love. It's it's a, a new friendship, a new, and it's mutual. It's like, I'm here for you. I'm fully present. All right. I've got the eight of cups showing that. So this is somebody who's evolved, who's moved on from anybody from the past, a relationship from the past. This person is ready for the nine of cups. All right. With these cups shown here in evolution, this is somebody who's healthy emotionally, somebody who's self-aware, somebody who knows what they want, somebody who's ready. You got the eights. They are ready to find that that next step, that wish fulfillment, the nine of cups, you know, I'm ready for a relationship. I'm ready to see where this goes. And then maybe go to the 10 of cups, looking for that long-term relationship. And then we got the three of cups here. So you've got a celebration, you've got a date, you've got somebody, this could be somebody that's around you already, somebody that you're going to meet when you go out. Maybe you're celebrating something in November. Maybe you're going on dates in November and you're going to find that you connect or click with somebody. Somebody. I'm getting a strong water sign for you with the cups here. The, it's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The three of cups shows that you could be very well happily on your way to a commitment in November if you're seeking it. You've got to have the courage to get out there and go. You've got to have the courage to let go of any fears. And if you are already dating, there could be somebody that you're dating that you might be taking to the next step in November um, if you've been already in the process of with this new person. All right. It seems like the two of you have a lot in common. It seems like you have fun when you're together. Um, there's no questions. It's a good time. Um, the early stages, you may have been, you know, it might be about three months time, you know, that things turn into real serious, or maybe you've been dating this person for about two or three months. Um, you could be taking it to the next level. So anything else around this relationship? And then I'll do Aries through Pisces. I'll see the potential of Aries through Pisces um, next. All right. Anything else around this relationship? I see anticipation, which is like the two of wands, the energy, right? So it's like planning, somebody exciting, make that contact, make that phone call if it's you. Right. I got realization. So there may be a light bulb moment going off where you realize or somebody else realizes, hey, you know, maybe I'm ready to get off the market. You know, let's take this to the next level. So I like that. And I see the ace of cups here. It's almost like the ace of cups, the energy. It's love potion. Somebody's enamored by you. Somebody is really attracted to you. Somebody really does want a new beginning with you. Um, start fresh, uh, new person, new potential. So you've got somebody who's ready to jump all in with you. And I 
do see cloud nine. So that's like the nine of cups energy. So it's like a feeling of in love, early stages. And like I said, before I even started this reading, I felt like the early stages of love coming in for you. All right, let's see Aries through Pisces. Think about the sign that you want to know about. I will see the potential. Don't confuse yourself with doing all kinds of cross-watching and um, choosing which sign is what and looking for the best one. It's best to just pick the sign that you're focused on and see what comes through. It's either your message or it's not. You can decide not to take it. But you will confuse yourself if you try to um, play around with all different placements and stuff during this part. All right. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Aries could be a secret lover. So there could be a third party situation there. Be aware. They could be trying to keep you a secret for a reason or keeping you behind the scenes for a reason. Uh, Taurus, you might be saying goodbye to somebody, farewell, or somebody is packing up and leaving your life in uh, another Taurus. Gemini secretly admires you, so they could be keeping an eye on you. You might, this could be a new person, new potential, it doesn't matter, but they secretly admire you, they're watching you. All right, you might be swept off your feet, or you might sweep a cancer off their feet. Um, I remember I said water was really coming through for you, so it could be cancer that you end up, you know. You go on a date, and then the next thing you know, three days later, you're still on the date. All right. Leo, we have invitation of love. So you might get an offer from Leo, um, a date, going somewhere. They seem to have love for you. Uh, Virgo is old footage. Eject that. It's time to let that one go. Um, that story, that reel has been going around and around and around. You're still trying to replay something that needs to go. Libra Either you and Libra are going to tie the knot, you're going to make it official, or they are in a relationship and you're going to find out. So pick the one you want. All right. Uh, Scorpio proposition. All right. So there might be an offer coming in from Scorpio. They would like to take things to the next level, maybe make things official with you. Sagittarius love lyrics. All right. So they are in their head over you. They're in love with you. They're, they're making their playlist over you. Uh, Capricorn is in cloud nine over you. Uh, a lot of love there. That's like the nine of cups. So you've got some people who want you. Um, Aquarius, eye of the beholder. All right. So Aquarius really does um, ha um, have feelings for you. Either you're not their typical or they're not your typical, but there's something about this connection that could really work. Uh, Pisces, wintertime, you guys may find yourself in a commitment. Um, you might be going through some challenges until then or trying to figure things out. But it does seem like you guys may cozy up around wintertime um, and maybe make things official then. I do see a lot of loyalty coming through for you. So for some of you, this is really about commitment. It's about you making those real strong choices. And uh, so you could really be finding yourself spending the holidays with somebody, in somebody's arms, really, really close with somebody. All right. So take care. I'll see you soon on all signs.